Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Recurrent boils are associated with poor hygiene, dirty environments, contact with people with some kinds of skin infections and poor blood circulation. It could also be a sign of a weak immune system, for example due to diabetes, long-term use of steroids, cancer, blood disorders, alcoholism, AIDS, and other diseases. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Boils and carbuncles can cause secondary infections. This can range from a relatively minor though often very painful infection of the deeper layer of the skin, such as cellulitis, to rarer more serious infections, such as blood poisoning sepsis. Make your mark, take our lead! A boil or furuncle is a skin infection caused by the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus. It tends to thrive in warm, moist areas of skin, most commonly the nostrils, armpits, the crease between the buttocks, and the inner thighs. Make your mark! Take our lead! Recurring boils may point to MRSA infection or an increase in other types of staph bacteria in the body. If you have several boils in the same place, you may be developing a carbuncle. See your doctor for a carbuncle. It may be a sign of a larger infection in the body. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Removing the core of a boil is an outpatient procedure that requires a local anesthetic. Once the boil and surrounding area are numb, the doctor will cut a small incision in the boil. The incision allows some of the pus to drain out. A doctor may then insert gauze into the incision to help drain any additional pus. Take our lead! The second can cause skin infections including boils, impetigo and cellulitis, which appears as a swollen, red area of skin that feels hot and tender. Other kinds of bacteria commonly found on toilet seats include E. coli and Shigella, which Lamb says can cause food poisoning. Take our lead! Hydrogen peroxide works by killing bacteria, whether it is good, healing bacteria or bad, infection-causing bacteria. Using hydrogen peroxide for a long time may kill the good, healing bacteria and inhibit the new growth of tissue, slowing down the healing process. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Treating your boil at home three or four times a day, put a warm, wet cloth on your boil for about 20 minutes. This will help bring the boil to a head. The boil may open on its own with about a week of this treatment. If it doesn't, contact your doctor for possible incision and drainage in the office. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Diabetes does not cause boils directly, but the changes in your blood sugar levels can leave your skin more susceptible to bacterial and fungal infection. Boils are often caused by contact to Staphylococcus aureus bacteria or even a fungus. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification!